Big Brother meets Murder House. All right, could be fun. Fun House is brought to us by Jason William Lee, the director of 2016's The Evil in Us. We follow eight social media celebrities who are all brought to a house for a Big Brother-esque reality show. However, there's a bit of a twist that they don't know about until they get there. You know, in most of these shows, there's a voting process, and every couple of days or episode or whatever, someone gets either voted off the island or voted out of the house or something along those lines. Well, Fun House is no different. Every three days, the audience will vote, and whoever the least popular cast member is will get voted out of the house. But they don't just leave the house. Oh no, in Fun House, when you leave the island, you have to compete in a challenge to the death. Yes, this Fun House is actually a fucking murder house. Clearly, the contestants did not know this when entering into this contract. We established fairly early on that there's no way of really escaping except for winning the game. So what follows is an entertaining, violently bloody, fun little movie with a healthy dose of social commentary. This movie was a lot better than I expected it to be. I don't know why, but after watching the trailer, I just didn't get good vibes. I thought it was gonna be an uninspired, ultra low budget bore fest. But no, I was wrong. This movie is actually pretty damn entertaining, and it does have a pretty relevant message. Make no mistake about it, this movie does have a message, and that message is not subtle in the slightest. But it's not entirely wrong either. Sometimes subtlety is needed when trying to convey a message. But in the case of this movie, the in-your-face approach actually does work given the subject matter. The movie does a really good job of not just pointing the finger at the people out there who whore themselves out for views and likes and subscriptions so that the rest of the world will put them up on a pedestal making them a social social media celebrity. And no, the irony of that is not lost on me. Subscribe! No, it points the finger right at everyone else too. You're the ones who made these people what they are. The people in the world are not being forced to watch this show. No one's twisting their arm. They can stop at any time, but they don't. And it's those people, i.e. everyone who's watching this thing who feel that fire. If no one would watch, it wouldn't exist. And even with these people begging for help and just asking people to stop watching so it end or or help or something no one cares they continue to watch and vote and while the movie is a bit of a satire to a degree that's not really that far off from how I think it might actually happen in real life if the world was faced with this scenario if there was a situation like this going on in real life you cannot tell me that millions upon millions of people would be watching this daily. And that's kind of fucking sad, man. And that's where the movie's coming from. It's asking, who are you? What are you worth? If you're only worth the views and likes and hits on the internet, then what kind of life is that worth living? Like I said, this message is not subtle at all in this movie. At one point, in fact, it's even vocalized outright. But given the nature of this film, it just kind of works here. Subtlety is not a word that would describe any part of this movie, its message included. The movie overall has a pretty good pace. The first 15 minutes or so are a little bit slow while we're introduced to our characters, but after that it quickly ramps up and holds on to that intensity until the very end. Speaking of the end, not everybody is going to like the way this movie ends. But in a way, it does kind of go along with the message of the movie, and it's kind of the point. I myself, I didn't hate the ending, but I didn't love it either. Overall, the very end of the movie was fine. It was okay, I didn't have a problem with it. The performances are a lot better than I was expecting, especially given how I wasn't expecting much going into this to begin with. Our lead, and probably the most recognizable face in the movie, would be Walter Skarsgård, the brother of Bill Skarsgård, aka Pennywise. Everybody here, Skarsgård, Guard included, do a fairly good job. In the beginning of the movie, everyone's performance seems a bit heightened and over the top, but I think that's because these characters are playing a part within the movie itself. They're all social media celebrities, so when they first get to this show, they're putting on a show. But once things get real and the shit hits the fan, the performances get a little bit more leveled out and realistic. While everybody overall did a pretty good job, the only other notable performance would be from Christopher Gerald, who plays Headstone. His character is given a little bit more than some of the others, and his portrayal of the character has a little bit more heart than some of the others do as well. He's also involved in a fight that is one of the more tense scenes in the movie. But overall, everybody did a really good job and was better than I was expecting. From a technical standpoint, everything's pretty good here as well. The movie looks good and the special effects are pretty nice. The practical effects are believably gory and icky and the few CGI effects we have don't look too bad either. There is one shot of some CGI blood that happens when somebody gets punched that seems like it may have been a little bit more home in a Mortal Kombat game though. Not terrible or anything. Honestly, it was kind of
kind of funny given the amount of blood that came out of this person's head when they got punched. But overall, everything's pretty good and believable. The only thing I wish they had elaborated on just a little bit more was the villain. We just don't really know much about this person. We know about his message. That's made very clear. And while I can't say that I agree with his methods, I do think he has a point. And those kinds of villains that you can actually understand where they're coming from are always some of the best. So they got that part of the villain right. However, beyond that, we just don't really know anything else about this guy. We're given a teensy weensy bit right there at the end, but beyond that, we just know he's some rich guy. It doesn't like tank the movie or anything, but a little bit more development for that character would have given the movie a whole lot more substance. Guys, this was a fun movie, and it does have a message, however, it never lets that message get in the way of the fun. It's a solidly made movie all around, and an entertaining ride that is absolutely worth streaming. <laughs> Across the street. this one on one night from your favorite streaming platform of choice and ask yourself the question if this was a real life thing would you watch don't answer anything but just ask yourself that and answer inside your head don't lie to yourself would you so there it is guys my review of fun house if you enjoyed and want more content like this hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow if you liked what i had to say give me a like if not let me know in the comments below why and as always stay sexy salt lake news is entertainment Politics is entertainment, war is entertainment, and your death is entertainment. I found the premise of this movie to be really interesting, and the movie overall was a really good time. However, there was one place that you do have to suspend your disbelief, and it kind of nagged at me throughout the movie. And that was that since this is being streamed online, are you going to tell me that nobody could track down where these people were? I mean, they give a reason as to why they can't. Some bullshit about some super virus that keeps anybody from tracking it. But come on, man, I don't believe that shit. In a real world... Fuck no, there's no way you could get away from it. If you're online, someone can track you down. If you do something online, it stays there. No matter what you do, it is still there somewhere, and believe me, people can find it. There's no hiding. They will always find it. Oh.